Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Dom and today we're going to be having a look at one of my favorite things, static factory methods in JavaScript. Now, a static factory method allows you to take some form of data and then create a new instance of another class from that data. So uh, this video is going to require at least a basic understanding of JavaScript classes or any other object-oriented language. And yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do this based on an RGB color class in JavaScript. So this class right here represents a single RGB color. As we know, an RGB color has a red channel, a green channel, and a blue channel. And of course, this is a very simple class. It simply takes in your RGB and then stores them as instance properties. Let's create a new constant called red equal to a new RGB color. Pass through here 255, zero, and zero. I can now say console.log red. And of course, in the console here, we get the RGB color instance with those values. So before jumping into the static factory method example, I want to quickly have a look at a basic static method in JavaScript just for some context. So typically you'll find static methods to be used for things such as helpers or util functions. As an example, we can say uh, static uh, is color valid, then accept here a color value. So uh, this, this color parameter is simply just one of these three colors, red, green, or blue. In order for one of these values to be valid, as we know, RGB colors can range from zero to 255, you know, as your channel uh, values here. So I can say uh, return as long as the color is more than or equal to zero, and it's also less than or equal to 255, then we know that, you know, the, the channel or the color is going to be valid. So now, of course, I can do something such as console log uh, RGB color dot is color valid. I can say, for example, 240. I can run this. And of course, we get true in the console because 240 is a valid uh, value for one of those channels. Now, of course, I can then use this method inside the constructor and so on to perform validation if I want to. I'm not going to do it in this video, but just to demonstrate this here is a typical usage for a static method, simple utils, simple helpers, which are then testable, um, you know, outside of the class, etc. So now let's have a look at how to use static factory methods to create a new instance of your classes from some other data structure. So let's just say, for example, I want to take a hex color and convert it into an RGB color. The way this is done is you simply take the three separate parts of your hex string and then convert those individual parts from base 16 or hex into base 10 or decimal. All right, let's have a look at an example here. I'll get rid of this code from earlier and say const uh, hex string is equal to, let's use the red example. We're going to say hash ff0000, okay? Then if I was to console.log, let's say I want to take, uh, you know, this color and convert it into RGB. I would first take the first two characters from the string, so ff, and convert that into base 10 from base 16, okay? I can say here, parse int, I can pass through ff, then I can say 16 just like that, okay? Save this, I can say node index.js and we get 255 right there. In other words, converting or taking this ff from base 16 to an integer is going to give us 255. If, for example, your hex string begins with a3, just like this, save this, run it again, 163. That means that the red channel for your hex string is 163 as the equivalent RGB, right? So we can see how this is sort of going to go. We have the first two characters representing the red channel, the second two representing the green channel, and the last two representing the blue channel. And we can take advantage of this here inside a static uh, factory method. All right, so 
before jumping into that, I want to first create a function. Let's say hex to RGB. It's going to take in the hex string as we sort of know already. And it's going to return us an object for red, just like this. Then of course our green and our blue. So if I was to say console log uh, hex to RGB, and then I say, for example, uh, I'm going to use my decode green color. So 009578. I expect to receive the red, green, and blue values for that particular color, okay? So we can simply apply that same logic. We're gonna take the first two characters and apply for the red, the base 16 conversion, etc. And the same goes for green and blue. I'm gonna say const red is equal to uh, pars, or let's, let's say red part is equal to hex string dot substring here. So using substring, we can take a part of that string, gonna get from index zero to index two non-inclusive. This just means get me uh, index zero and index one from that string. In other words, get me the first two characters, okay? Let's do the exact same thing for the green part. And the blue parts, of course, these ones here are going to grab the third and fourth character for the green. So I can say two to four and I can say four to six for um, the blue part. So we have those three separate channels separated and we can now apply that same conversion. We can just say parse int here and we can say red part for base 16 or 16 is the radix here. I can now do the same thing for the green and the blue, just like that, right? The issue is, of course, we have a hash in front of the string, so we can simply replace that and bring it back to a normal zero. So I can just say here, hex string equal to hex string dot replace, replace the hash with an empty string, just like this. So now, if I was to run this script, we get red zero, green 149, and blue 120. So we've taken hex string, converted it into an, a separate RGB color. Now, you may see where this is going. Uh, essentially, we can now take this object and then pass it into a RGB color constructor, okay? Let's migrate this code into a static factory method. We can say static from hex color, take in the hex string just like this, we're going to apply the same logic, I'll copy and paste this, but this time, instead of returning a simple object, we're gonna return a class instance. We're gonna say return a new RGB color, takes in here the parse int for the red part, the parse int for the green part, then of course, the parse int for the blue part, just like this. We can remove this function, and now we can utilize our uh, RGB color dot from hex color, pass in that hex value, save this, run the script, and now we get our, uh, our RGB color. I might just, uh, <laughs> let me just fix that up. I forgot to do the pass in here for the blue part. There we go. Run it again, and we get that equivalent RGB color instance from the hex string. So the point here I'm trying to make is essentially, you're able to create new constructors in a way for your uh, classes based on other data. This is perfect for transforming certain items or you know, building uh, an instance based on some other data, etc. And it's all really nice because they reuse the same constructor which you defined up here. Therefore, your normal constructor is available if you want to use it but you've also got these other ways for you to build your classes. And that is a static factory method in JavaScript. Hope you guys learned something and you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.